Hi everyone, Unboxingalism here and welcome back to my channel. In this quick video I share two ways on how you can connect your brand new Magic Keyboard with your M1 Mac Mini. Let's start it. First, please turn it on, so please make sure on its side this switch is toggled to green. So this way it is on, and now it is off. It is important to mention that if you have bought a used Magic Keyboard, maybe you need to charge it before the connection process. Now you can see my Mac Mini screen. Next go to the System Preferences, then Bluetooth. Please make sure that it is turned on, without it your Magic Keyboard and your Mac can connect to each other. Maybe you need to switch the toggle on and off more than once to see it on this list. Now select the connect button. That's it, we are done with the connection process. Before I show you the second way of connecting it, I would like to give you a bonus tip. If you would like to give a unique name to your keyboard, right click on it, then select the rename and you can customize its name. If you are enjoying the video so far, just take a second and click on the subscribe button, it really does help growing my channel, thank you. Anyways, you can disconnect and remove your keyboard here as well. Now it's time to show you the second way to connect your Magic Keyboard with your Mac. First you need a lightning cable. Because the Mac Mini has USB-C and USB-A ports, you can use a USB-C to lightning or a USB-A to lightning cable as well. I have unpaired my Magic Keyboard from my M1 Mac Mini, so it does not show up on the devices list. I will plug the lightning part to my keyboard. As you can see it connected automatically and the Mac shows this connected animation as feedback. If for some reason you can't connect the Magic Keyboard with your Mac, please try the followings. Maybe you need to charge the battery of your keyboard. Check if the switch is on on your Magic Keyboard. Check if Bluetooth connection is turned on on your Mac as well. Restarting your Mac may solve the connection issue. Try to use a different USB-C or USB-A cable. That's all I wanted to say on how you can connect your Magic Trackpad with your brand new M1 Mac Mini. I hope this short video helped you out and you learned something useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, that would be really appreciated and would help my channel grow. Thank you and see you in the next one.